the resurrection, swan upping, and Christ carrying the cross are some of the most striking and provocative paintings of the 20th century and were the creations of controversial artist Stanley Spencer. Many of Spencer's subjects were drawn from biblical stories, but his inspiration came not just from the Bible, but from this quintessentially English village here in the heart of Berkshire. Cookham is where the ordinary became extraordinary. Stanley Spencer was born here in 1891. His childhood was idyllic, and he returned to Cookham throughout his life. He was regarded as an eccentric character pushing his pram of artist materials through the village. The painting which made his name is based on one of the most powerful of all the New Testament stories, but it's set not in the Holy Land, but here in the churchyard at Holy Trinity, Cookham. The resurrection Cookham was completed in 1927. Its subject is Christ's resurrection, but it features a host of characters who are actually local residents in the village. What he's done is he's brought his whole autobiography all the people he cares about into this churchyard and set them going around this idea of resurrection. There's the landlord that he's living, he's sharing a house with. There's um, his best friend Richard Carline, another painter. There's Hilda Carline, who's his wife, sniffing a flower. He's got a very peculiar vision in which he muddles up all these sort of ma madly rich traditional scenes with the detail of where he lived. If religion played an important role in his life, his experiences during the Great War would also have an impact. He saw active service in Macedonia, and this too resonated through his art. When he returned from the front, he said he had lost that early morning feeling that had so awakened his spirit as a young man. The war memorial in the village was of special significance to Stanley Spencer, as it bears his brother Sidney's name. Like many people, he came back to his hometown and found that there is no going home. You can't go back. You can go back, but you can't ever go home. That's what he experienced. Home wasn't there anymore. In 1920, he painted Unveiling a War Memorial at Cookham. He was a war artist, and he would paint a war memorial, but he certainly wasn't going to paint a parade. So when you see his painting of the Cookham War Memorial, that's what he was prepared to show. Spencer became known as much for his idiosyncratic behaviour as for his art. He was an unkempt figure who apparently rarely washed and even wore his pyjamas under his clothes. Joan George was a young journalist when she first met and interviewed Stanley Spencer. Well, he would just look like a, a very untidy little man mm -hmm. with bits of paint on his clothes and so on. He didn't care about his appearance at all. But as soon as he spoke, you realised here was somebody rather special with something special to say. Over and over again, the importance of Cookham is apparent in his work. His family home, Fernley, is the setting for Christ carrying the cross. Cookham Bridge is the location for Swan Upping, celebrating the local custom of marking swans. Spencer longed for a permanent gallery for his collection here in Cookham. But it wasn't until after his death in 1959 that local enthusiasts got together and made it happen. And fittingly, they chose this as the location, the Methodist church where Spencer, as a boy, used to go with his mum. Well, Stanley was so closely associated with the village. It was absolutely his life, almost his religion. He just was Cookham, and we felt a memorial to Stanley should be here in the village. One of Spencer's most impressive works is the unfinished Christ Preaching at Cookham Regatta. It takes pride of place at the gallery. And the images are remarkable. The idea of Christ materialising, not in Jerusalem or the Holy Land, but in Cookham, is both very weird and strange, and it's comic as well as rather wonderful. What particularly strikes me, I think, really, is the detail of the portraiture. Things like the quality of the mop, the detail of the dustpan, the whole thing is a huge memory. When Stanley Spencer was knighted in 1959 at Buckingham Palace, it said that he took a bottle of milk with him in his bag, ready for his tea when he got home. So even as he was being accepted by the establishment, eccentricities and all, he took a little bit of Cookham with him.